you know, we were looking forward. We had we successfully hosted South Africa in February. And, you know, we, we were ready for the most busiest time for us in terms of Pakistan cricketing history with New Zealand, England, West Indies, uh, the PSL in January, February time, and then Australia to come into play three tests, three ODIs, two T20s. You know, that's a, a, an incredible summer of cricket for us coming ahead. So the financial losses, you know, we, we're aware of and we know we're counting and we're understanding what those losses are at the moment. But yeah, the, the credibility for us is the big thing because we have done a huge amount of work in building our credibility back up again in world cricket. And I guess I will, I will say that it's been the wool, the, the rug pulled from, and from under our feet as quick as that. You know, within, you know, 10 hours, eight hours, a decision was made uh, to abandon the tour, to leave the country. And the New Zealand team are now en route back to New Zealand. And that's fundamentally wrong in my view. Uh, particularly when the information wasn't being shared. And I keep going back to this. Share the information with our security agencies. Let them assess with you. Let them work with you to see how, how real those threats are. Let's mitigate them together. You know, because the consequences to a country like Pakistan and New Zealand are aware how hard we've worked. You know, a lot of work has been done behind the scenes to work with New Zealand to bring them to Pakistan. And at a drop of a hat, to just walk away and just leave us to pick up the pieces like this. I'm sorry, but you know, my view is that dialogue should have taken place. We may have reached the same conclusion. You know, it may have been that the, the New Zealand cricket may have said our government are adamant they must return, in which case there isn't a great deal we do. But let's try and work it out together. Sit around the table for a few hours. Let's understand what those risks are. Let's mitigate them together so that the tour continue can continue. Months and months of work has gone into this, you know, and I think that's the disappointment. And within six, seven hours, it just pulled, it just gone from under us. You know, with everything running so well, they'd been in the country three or four days, five days, everything was going smoothly. And so, you know, I think this is what we're trying to come to terms with. Rafi, my question to you is, uh, as you say, that... Uh, Colin, speak louder. As you say, the information was not shared. So, can you hear me? Yes, 